if you're not trustworthy and we can't depend on you and we can't need you and we can't want you, then what are we as women supposed to do? You alluded to it. They are going to white boys. Yeah. They are. I mean, I, I see. Yeah. I see well, a lot more sisters going with white boys. Well, let me, let me, and, let me and, flip and, that and, a little bit, me, though, because I think that's a two-way street. But before you flip it, I want you to give sound, thoughtful advice as to what women should be doing. Get that to me. Oh, uh, what they should be doing as opposed to what we see them doing. What we see them doing. And, 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 and keep in mind, what we right? see, see them doing things, is a things. direct right. reflection of what you've done. I think what we see them doing is a direct reflection of the ills in our community, period. It's not just a direct reflection of what men have done. There's some sickness in the black community that needs to be addressed that actually is playing a huge part in everything in our society. From shooting poor kids on the west side for no, mm-hmm. for no reason with gang violence to children out of wedlock to blah, 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 blah. I mean, we can run down a whole list. And so, one, my one piece of advice to women and to men would be work to cure yourself, first of all, so that you are whole, so that when you engage like Jack has in a marriage, you come to it as, a, as much of a whole human being as you can be. At 20-something, as whole as you can be at 20. Yeah. And maybe at 30 or 40 or 50 at my age, be whole when you come into a relationship. So first, before, you know, physician heal thyself, mm-hmm. before you place blame on him for what he ain't doing, and he may be wrong, make sure you're right in what you are doing. Because if you are right, one, you're going to be looking for a whole different kind of cat than that fool on the corner who got five kids, you know? I mean, when I'm looking at women, I'm looking for women who are whole, grown up people. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want no woman who, like, got five kids and, you know, that's not my thing. You know, I want somebody to say, no, and I'm not trying to blaspheme that, but I'm just saying, as because we all make choices in life, right? And, but I'm looking for a woman who is, we say, you know, equally yoked. You know, it, with life being this continuance of developments and experiences, when does one know oneself <laughs> enough to make that type of decision? I was going to ask you. Because at 20, you made this exactly, decision, right? right? Well, I was like, I haven't gone exactly. there, so I'm wondering, so, right? Right. You were so, married before, though, right? Never been married. You never been married. Yeah. Oh, okay. I walked up to her a couple okay. times. But I mean, okay. it's it's. I, okay. I feel I feel like you know this thing called life is a roller coaster ride for everybody. Yeah. I don't know who I'm going to be tomorrow, right. but I know the person that I married is the person I want to experience tomorrow. With. So like that's that's what it should really be. About. That's to a me, beautiful thing. It should be about. It's that's like, a wonderful know, thing. If no matter what we're going to do, if we're going to fight, let's fight together. Mm-hmm. Okay. If we're going to cry, let's cry together. If we're going to have fun, let's have fun together. Okay. I, I look okay. at it as choice. I think we all, I think everything that's going on comes down to choice. Even to the to the the young lady that is fed up with men and doesn't doesn't uh, need a man to validate her or, or anything like that. Yes, she's been scarred. Yes, she's been hurt or whatever like that. Um, but but then if you truly want to be happy and you truly want this thing, then you have to make the choice to continue to, to do what's necessary to get what you want. To like if, if you, to fight for it. So, we got a good marriage. We know ourselves. We love ourselves. Now we know what to look for. What does a strong marriage and relationship look like? For me, communication, compromise, and God. Notice he didn't say settle. He didn't say what? He didn't say settle. He said compromise. Yes. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of times we think that settling and compromise is the same word. That's, That's right. That's right. Okay. I, I would add um, a sense of shared values, whether that's spirit. Um, you know, we want to have kids, we, you know, we want to have a house in Florida, whatever it is, something that kind of really binds you together okay. as a couple, um, that you can focus on and that creates that sense of weeness, um, as you move together. Because I think one of the dangers in all relationships is we're together, but we sort of end up just consistently being just the individual and there's nothing that's, that's a we in the midst of it. Um, and I think if you can find some of that weeness. I think that's that's one of the things that helps to create a stronger relationship. One of the things I also think that we've also gotten away from when we talk about the good old days is that it's not just enough for the two people to be working at it, but there's got to be a community around them. To and that, that's where I'm, you know, so it's got to be a family. You got to be able to go talk to somebody, <coughs> to counsel mm-hmm. the elders, to get mm-hmm. advice. Mm-hmm. When you start to get nervous or like doubt, you got to have somebody pull yeah. you back. You know what I mean? So I, I don't think any of this just should be happening in vacuums. Yeah. I think we've done that too much. Mm-hmm. I think it can't happen in a vacuum. And when 
in my mind and from my experience and viewpoint, when I look at the challenges to relationships in today's world, it's because many of us are in a constant state of upheaval in terms of our circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even being estranged from our family, even right. the, the defining of, you know, who our friends are. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's tough mm -hmm. to have a, a, a strong relationship with you and, and mm -hmm. one person that's not anchored. Right. I mean, you, you have to be tethered to something. How else can, can values be evidenced right. or, or, or exhibited or experienced? Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got that, you need to communicate. Thank you.